Okay, welcome back to our pure data tutorial again. And today we are going to show you something which can change or move automatically. So we'll have a look of two particular boxes or objects. The first one is the counter and the second one will be the metro. And we're going to make use of them to work on with some animation later. The first object is the counter. And if you take a look of the help of the counter objects, you can see there are lots of connections. And in this particular demonstration, we'll just use a few of them. We'll use, for example, a band to trigger the operation of this counter and use the other setting as a message to change, for example, the maximum value and also the current value of the counter. If you imagine it's a mechanical counter, for every single push of a button, it will increase the counting value by one. So this is the basic operation. So in later case, we're going to see there are more advanced operations, like you can decrease rather than increase the number. You can also use the counter to count up and down again. So there are three modes of operation of counting up, counting down, counting up and down again. So the general operation is we have a bank connecting the counter to the first inlet. And we have a number connecting to the first outlet of the counter. In order to set a maximum value for the counter, we put that particular number on the right mode inlet of the counter box. Sorry. Supposed to be the right mode one. And in this case, I put 9 over here. And you can have a look of the basic operation. To perform the counting, you press this particular bank. Whenever you press, it will increase the number. And because we haven't triggered this particular message 9 into this counter box, it will count continuously. And if you would like to reset the number, you need to put in another number, like if I want to start it from the number 0 in the very beginning, and we connect it to the fourth inlet. And then we do the counting again. First of all, we reset the counter value and we set the maximum for this counting and then we do the counting again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and the next step you press it will go back to 0 so all together we have a counter of value 10 starting from 0 to 9 and back to 0 again So this is the basic operation of a counter. And you have seen that I need to click on this particular bank button for every counting value. So it can be troublesome if you would like to do something automatic. So what I'm going to do is to turn on an automation mode. So it's actually there's, there isn't anything called aut automation mode. I just use and other objects called the metro. So we take a look of this particular objects. And it comes with two inlets. The first one is a toggle, which is an on and off switch to turn on and turn off the metro. And the second one is a number.
and the outlet is a pen. And we have a look of the behavior. First of all, we change the number like 80 and then we turn on the metro. You see the band is flashing and if I increase the number over here or I just type in a bigger number like 300 you can see the fraction slowing down a little bit. So actually this particular number is the measurement of the bit of the operation of this particular band. The unit in this number is millisecond. So 500 is 500 millisecond. So it's actually half a second. For example, if you would like to have the metro operate one per second, you can type in a thousand. 1000 millisecond which is one second you can see the fraction of the toggle sorry the band is one bit per second in order to turn off the metro you just click off this particular toggle box so the counting or the the bit from the metro box will stop turn on again and then turn off so this is basically the way we are trying to do automatic running of the patch by using this metro box. And how we can combine the two of them in order to have something which can count automatically. So the task is pretty straightforward. We just need to connect these two bands together. So actually we do not need to have two of the bank. And we can connect it from the output of the band box to the input of the counter. And then we save it again and have a look of the behavior. And then we turn on, on the metro you see, for example, in this case, the counting will start from 0 and then to 9 and then resume 0 again, just at what we have done in a couple of seconds before. So by clicking on the toggle on and off, we will start and stop the metro from running. And it's also start and stop the counter from running. And you can also change the speed of the counting by changing the value of the second inlet of the metro box. So the value in the second box control the speed of the counter and the toggle is the on and off switch of this particular counter. So we based on this particular framework will extend the operation of the counter to something more graphical and visual in the later tutorial.